When the new weapons are introduced next swings, do you think Uz Harrison will become compulsory? What new weapons are you talking about? Is there new weapons coming out? <laughs> or, oh, you mean Medivh is a weapon? I doubt it. It's like, it, it might be good to have Uz and Harrison in, like, immediately as week 4 comes out, but... Like, I doubt Medivh will take over the meta in the long run. It could just be a lot of people want to test Medivh, and you could ruin their fun by, you know, just putting an Uz in, <laughs> in all your decks, technically, but... I, I doubt that Medivh is like a power level, you know, 10 card where it just takes over the meta and you want to have Ooze in every deck. Uh, this is like the best card against Rogue. Always keep true server champion. Probably, yeah, let's go ahead and Mulligan, the Guardian. Spirit Calls? Hmm, I, I doubt. I doubt that's a powerful card. Just the consistency of spell power makes it too hard. Like, what are the two drops you have with Spell Power? You have Blood Mage, and is that it? Do you think people would use Kabold Geomancer? I, don't, I somehow don't think that Kabold Geomancer would be usable. You could just, you know, Hero Power, but who really wants to play one drop, then Hero Power turn two? I feel like, and that's a one fourth chance. I feel like you want to curve out a shaman that, with that kind of shaman. We for Only one dragon. None Gonna have to make the tough call here to just heal my guy. That's such a big breakpoint. Nightbane Templar is really weak to fan and nice because I have a I have a three one here as well. I get a second dragon, that's pretty good. I don't have to Trucifer here. Like, Barnes is not a big threat, is it? Can he do some weird stuff with Barnes, like Shadow Step it? Eh, I doubt it. So I could trade here and just play Nightbane Fairy Dragon. I wonder. Although Fairy Dragon is my last dragon. Nightbane Hero Power. It's weak to Phantom Knives. For justice, not I mean, it's always going to be weak to fan knives, but I don't think it's as good as it used to mana. Like, part of what was baiting me to do that play was I get to spend all five mana instead of four, but I don't really get to play this with Fair Dragon if I want to save for Twilight Guardian, so I have to squeeze in Hero Power, which isn't that good. Because Hero Power is also weak to fan knives, and also it's just not that strong, a Hero Power. Uh, let's do... What's the ordering I should do here? Twilight Guardian, then Fairy Dragon. Yeah, that makes sense. That way he doesn't know if I have another dragon. And I always take minion trades against Rogue over weapon trades. Almost always. Because you can save this weapon for later. Whereas minions, you're really not going to be a guarantee to save for later. The Rogue has really good removal. See, like, especially here, like, say I swung, had an extra minion, it's conceivable that he could just kill all my minions, right? Like, especially with the sap. Or he can, like, say, trade Gadgetan for my 3-2, leave a 4-2. I don't have Consecrate in my hand. I guess I trade a 3-3, so, like, yeah, he could still take the Gadgetan for a 3-3 sap and remove these two with spells. That's why it's just that rule. It's, like, a rule I generally like to follow. Just try to do minion trades against Rogue if you can, and save weapons for emergencies. The preps haven't come out yet. Okay, both fans, that's important to keep track of. If he uses a second conceal here, then 
he doesn't get those conceal um cold blooded targets. No beasts. I actually have beasts, but I'm not playing Kodo. Actually I like this play the best. Let's I don't have the Zubot next turn. Or I don't have the Zubot this turn. Giving the, my this like one more health and this one more health doesn't seem like it makes it harder for him to clear that much. Especially since I have like I can play a much stronger three drop, no fan knives. And then I can even play Kodo plus Zubot sometimes next turn. Which which is my beast. And I can still get the charge damage in from Zubot, right? Like I can Zubot before attacking, so I, I definitely like this more. I don't know what the chances are that I can actually play Kodo, but the Brotherhood shall obey. Six six. Well, I could Kodo. I could Peacekeeper Kodo. Four four. I can kill with my board. Then I have a Beast, but no more. Dra I can make Dragon and Murloc with Hero Power. It's easy for me to do that later. Oh, I have a Dragon here as well, so I could play Zubot. Nah, I'm I'm stuck with this play. Let's do it. Follow the rule. Thank you. Thank you. Zubot looks good, really good. This is beast, so I don't play huge toad first. Murloc Dragon, Murloc here. So here powers two, Zubots. I have five mana left over this turn. Probably consort. Actually, if you think about it, no, I shouldn't go for mana efficiency. I should go for actually like good stuff. This is a perfect mm. breakpoint. You know, the more I think about it, all face is kind of fine as well. I don't think so. It's close, but my whole hand is minions, no burn. Like, I don't have True Server Champion in my hand. I don't have Wellma Paladin, but I mean, say I was in other class, like cards like Fireball. He still can take better trades. Like, he can sap this and trade Tomb Pillagers for my 3 3s, for example. Things like that. One more Conceal, one more Gadgetzan. I'm assuming two more Cold Bloods. Give me a quest. Okay, so that's last sap. Tyrion's gonna be good. Also, the Strike's gonna be good too. I wonder if uh, he runs Leroy. I think some people replaced Questing Adventure with Leroy. I mean, Leroy with Questing Adventures. No conceal. I think unlikely he has conceal in his hand. That seems like he would play it. I'm not sure. I think I could have played this and gone all face, but I'm not sure how risky it is. The problem here is after this trade, I have to kill a 9-1 and I'm still gonna have to trade an entire minion for it. The other way I'm pretty sure it's like Solitaire. Like I, I basically put him on the spot. I just win. Um, like I go all in and then I would win next turn, I'm pretty sure, but I might die. Like, I really doubt I could survive if I go face and left up the questing adventure, give him a 7 out of have 5 minions on board. He shouldn't really have AoE. It just feels... Yeah, I would have died. Oh, I, I, I might still die. Blessing Kings isn't really good with dragons, because dragons have big minions. Kings are more for like mid-range small minions. 
to kings up. I'm, my early game curve is really weak. It's like really ambitious to try to kings with just one, like two one drops and four two drops. I don't particularly like Dragon Consort. It's just I do need enough dragons. I feel like once Book Gordon comes out, I'm gonna find a way to incorporate that. I don't know if, but instead of Consort though, maybe instead of Drake, I could see no Dragon Consort. Dragon Consort is pretty good at playing Dragon Consort and then getting cheap dragons so you can play with Menagerie Ma Magician or Zuba. That feels like not mm, not common enough. I, I really like keeping these together because I play this like turn one he might pass. I play this might play three two, which is what I'm really scared of against a one three. And then I can Zuba and get a two four. So I would definitely be coining out two Welfins here. Well met. Yeah, the best is to leave my options open. Because if I coin out two Inquisitors, he plays a 3 2, I'm in an awkward spot. Like now, if he doesn't play anything, I can just play Fairy Dragon. Might even use my coin for the other Inquisitor, but I think it's better for me to leave my options open this turn. Now, if he plays a 3 2, I still have to coin out Zubot. That can play Fairy Dragon Inquisitor in turn 3. And actually, I'm thinking now maybe not play Fairy Dragon because it's my only dragon for Guardian. Let's play Hero Power Inquisitor maybe. Well, we'll see if we get another dragon. Thinking about Conan Cold now. Trusor, I don't have great ways to trade. I guess I can trade the 2 1 attacks, Trusor, but I'm frozen next turn. Then he plays Azure Drake, and I uh, can't kill Azure Drake. I have a 3 3, then I start falling behind due to spell power. I don't like that. I like just ta taunting here. If he fireballs goes face, like he doesn't get a great. Uh, use of mana, I waste one mana. I can figure out something next turn. Or I can play like these two together or something. So what happens now if I true sword champion? Then he plays the Azure Drake. Yeah, that's fine. Actually this one's fine now. This is unfrozen now. Probably want to save one of the consecrates for this uh, mirror entity, mirror images. I could burn one consecration whenever though. Consecrate Fairy Dragon? Ah, that's so weird. I could play this trade in 4-4 four, four against a 2-4 lines up okay. Force a Flame Marker spell. Next turn attack. Or I could just play the minion trade in or I mean, consecrate trade in. Move quickly. Removal spring. I think removal removal's premium in this matchup. And that board's even weaker to Flame Waker than this board is, if I just have a Fairy Dragon. I actually took out a second Azure Drake. Um, I 
If he if he if he AoEs like Flame Strike, I'm gonna get punished if I don't kill it. Cause then the one two is kinda contest my hero power as well. But what was I saying? Yeah, I think maybe taking out the second Azure Drake's a mistake. Cause right now, I, last like couple games I've been running on Steam, having two Azure Drakes seems good. Or I guess even another Ivory Knight for Steam. I have Curator for Steam, Ivory Knight, and Azure Drake at the moment. That's only three cards though. Otherwise, it's like I'm just top decking and trying to curve out from big high mana curve. Curve is like mostly mid range though. It's like not that high. Might just be setting for flame strike for next turn. I don't want to play both minions, just one one way or the other. Uh, let's count for lethal. Right now I have seven. I need five more damage. This is six damage with all the mana is five. Well, he might have gotten power blast. He hasn't, he hasn't actually played any babbling books or tomes though, so that's kind of unlikely. I think random card he plays is Firelands Portal. Okay, so he just can't really have Flame Strike outs anymore after the Arcane Intellect, no mana to ping. Nice, so I, for I forced lethal and now I ate the Roaring Torch damage, that was huge. Cause I was gonna threaten lethal. A seven here, nine. I don't have lethal. Let me see what I troll. 